This is the new 2022 X4M competition, and this is the old 2021 X4M competition. So it's halfway through the life cycle of the X4M and BMW did that life cycle impulse or that facelift on the 2022 model. And I have both the 22 and the 21 here. And I'm gonna show you what the difference is, is that BMW did for the new X4M competition. So pretty different front end facials for the 21 versus the 22. Obviously it's the same vehicle overall size and everything. The only thing is just gets a little bit of an impulse, a little refresh design. So as you can see, we have different headlights. So these are what was the only option for 21, which was the adaptive LED headlights, standard option for the vehicle and the only option. These are the new adaptive LED headlights with also optional laser light headlights as an upgrade. So you have two different headlights options for the new 22 X4M versus only one on the previous model or model year. Then the next thing you notice is the grill. So the grill is a little bit more rounded and then it doesn't connect in the center. And no matter what the paint is, the paint always goes through the center, separates the two kidney grills. On the new X4M, the kidney grills are now attached in the center and they looked a little bit sharper angles on the kidney grill, more of a square look than a rounded look over here. The next thing is the front bumper. So the front bumper got completely redesigned from last year's to this year's. Last year's also had more black input. So black in the center here. So even if you had a blue car or the white car, you can really see the difference where this one, that section is the same body color. So carbon black on the front here, the lower vents, more of a rectangle and then separated where this one, the honeycomb connected over. So on the new one, you can see cuts down this one, was extending more and then it had a kind of a design, like a little mouth design on either side with an opening at the bottom where that one is just honeycomb all the way down. You had honeycomb on the side in front of the side radiators over here. Now just completely new shapes, new design in the bumper. This one did have the carbon fiber exterior package. So you had the carbon fiber all here and down below over here, more similar, more streamlined. In my personal opinion, the upper half of the 22, I like better than on the 21, but the lower half of the 21, I like better than the 22. There's more depth in here, kind of with this line, this line, and then with the carbon fiber. Also down here, it seems to be more depth in the bumper and that's like a lot more flat. Another difference is the wheel option. So this is now the new standard wheel option for the 22 X4M. This was the wheel option on the 21 X4M. So different wheel design patterns. I do believe they are still the same size, 21 inch wheels for either one. Tire overall size hasn't changed, just the wheel design. M mirror caps look to be the exact same, just on this one, carbon fiber with the exterior package, just black. Let's see. Side air vent looks to be about the exact same between the two models, no difference there. The side skirts along the bottoms seem to be the same. Let's go take a look at the back bumpers. So between the two, taillights are the exact same. Don't look like they've changed at all. Spoilers at the back seem to be about the same. Roof lines, everything look the exact same. This one does have the carbon fiber rear spoiler. And that one is just the black. We will notice back bumper. So basically everything right here below the tail light has changed. So this is the 21. We got an aggressive there with the reflector, the M exhaust, carbon fiber rear diffuser. And then you have the 22. Kind of like a puzzle piece you can see this will stay black no matter what so even if you had a white car this would be black all ball along here kind of an interesting puzzle piece and then you have the exact same exhaust system with a little bit of a less of a diffuser you can see that there's still the black diffuser piece here a little bit different center design yeah i don't know i gotta say i, I like the carbon fiber at the back maybe that's why i like the 21 more but i also like this design right here but inside wise, there's some tech changes. As you can hear on this car, 
Every time I walk close to it, it's unlocking. And every time I walk away from it, it's locking. It's not happening with the 21. The new 22X4M now has full iDrive 7. So you get the system will automatically sense the key proximity to the vehicle, automatically lock it when you walk away, walk it toward and unlock it when you go towards it. On top of that, they also added in remote engine start. So now for the new vehicle, by triple clicking the lock button, it's gonna remote engine start for us. engine start will also turn off from the key fob and you can also do that through the my bmw app now now other than that we've talked about all the exterior changes for the facelift between them and that's usually what bmw does for the light cycle impulses you know new headlights kidney grill bumper rear bumper you know maybe some different wheel options interesting on this one they actually redesigned the interior as well not a complete redesign but it's significant enough let's look on the 21 before we go look at the 22 this one does have carbon fiber exterior package as well. The M Performance steering wheel. You'll notice this is what the shifter control looks like. So down here, you have carbon fiber trim along the side, your iDrive controller, and then on a second segment, you have your transmission controller and all of your adjustment buttons. Push button start is also up here. Turn that on. You know, we saw the live car professional full digital gauge cluster infotainment system. It is iDrive 7. You'll notice the trim here as well. It's complete flush, and then the screens behind it. And then these are the air vents, central locking buttons. The radio controls is at the top. And then all of your air conditioning, climate controls down at the bottom with one large digital display screen right here. And then as you come down, you have a wireless charging tray in the center here before your cup holders and that slide to cover. Now keep this in mind, keep this picture in mind of this whole center console. And let's go take a look at the 2022 X4M. Now entering into the 22 from right here, it looks pretty much the same. M Sport steering wheel, live car professional, door panels all the same, pedals all the same, seats are the same. And as you come in, this whole center row is now redesigned. So starting down here, it's now a one piece. There's no carbon fiber anywhere, even if that was an option. There is one center piece here. iDrive controller is connected in with the transmission controller. We have a new transmission shifter knob. This is carried over from the X5M, X6M, M8. Does the same thing, but just looks a little bit different, less bulky. In my opinion, it looks a little bit better. And then you have all your buttons down here and your push engine start is down here. It's no longer up here. Speaking about up here, you notice the screen, it's larger. It's also brought closer towards. You can see here, it's cutting out the trim because it's about an inch forward than the last one was. You have less trim right here, larger infotainment screen, all the same stuff in there besides the comfort door access and the remote engine start. And as you come down, redesigned air vents, it's taking over from the X5 and the X6. Redesigned climate control is now upper, it built in between these air vents instead of being way down here. And then you have your radio control. Radio control is almost in the same spot. You just don't have another section right here for climate control. And then the other thing as you head down, one thing that is missing though on 22s due to factory restrictions of microchips, no wireless charging tray compared to on the 21. So it's kind of give and take on certain aspects, but it's interesting to see what BMW did here now matching over with the X6, the X5, X7, carrying over and matching all those other vehicles. Other than that, your live cockpit professional is the same. Your head-up display is the same. Your steering wheel is the same. And that's it. So that is pretty much everything that is the difference between the 22 and the 21. You know, back seats, merino leather. Still have the climate control system, two USB-C ports, honeycomb pattern in there on the 21. Pretty much the same, just with Tartufu interior.
All right, I hope you guys enjoy this look of a 2021 X4M composition versus the new facelifted 2022 version. If you guys made it all the way to the end, please absolutely smash that like button as it does help my channel grow. Consider subscribing to more future content of BMW. If you are in Toronto and you're in the market for ordering up a factory order 2022 X4M, or if you want to take advantage and get our last remaining 2021 X4M competition, send me an email down below. If you think you know anybody who'd be interested in this video, share this with them or tag them down below as well. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.